Everyone loves more of a good thing. More. And Miss Moore was no different. As her name suggested, she loved more. More? More. So when Miss Moore was injured, she called Morgan and Morgan. With more lawyers, more offices, and more than $15 billion recovered, she didn't have to ask for more anymore. When you're injured, you deserve more. One more. Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 5 a.m., I've been through hell. A hostage who was just released by Hamas shares her story of captivity. Plus, the LAPD wants you to take a good look at this picture. They say this man set fire to an American flag at a home in West Hills. And back to the table, and not a moment too soon. Details on the major movies getting pushed back as the Actors Union and Hollywood Studios start a new round of negotiations. Good morning. I'm Leslie Sykes, along with John Gregory and Rachel Brown. And John officially brought out his fall jacket today. <laughs> and I wore it for a couple minutes. <laughs> and I took it off because it was still too warm. That's progress. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hey, describe this jacket that you keep talking about? Well, and it's not thinking. even a heavy jacket. It's a light, you know, kind of. Is this of, a tan a, one? When did, a, what year black. did you buy it? What, <laughs> what year did you buy it? Oh, it's, I don't know, five years ago. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. You're asking me tough questions. It's a Los Angeles jacket. It's a Los Angeles jacket. It was like from the Which 70s. Which is not a real jacket. Yeah, like a windbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only on special occasions. All right, downtown Los Angeles, 74. Inland Orange County, 71. Inland Empire Valley community is about 78 degrees. We have some sunshine coming on through later today. Some morning clouds as well. So again, it's a little bit of a cooler start this morning than it was just yesterday morning, but really just a fantastic fall day. 70 degrees in our Inland Empire and Valley location, which is perfect. 68 for the beaches, those mountains getting up to about 59 degrees. And then if you are heading out towards the high desert, those temps are going to climb up to about 80 degrees. So all in all, it's just looking really nice here in Southern California. We'll have more coming up in a full forecast in a little bit. Brandon Ruffalo is in. Take a look at traffic. Hey, good morning. Good morning. We have an ABC7 traffic alert over into the Studio City area. Uh, it's a bit of a backup. It's not too bad. Thank goodness it is pretty early on still. Now, this is on the 101 headed through Studio City. It's headed northbound, uh, so technically westbound. We do have a couple lanes that are still blocked off. Initially, it was all lanes, and now we've just got the number one and two lanes blocked off there at Tahunga Avenue. The good news is they're hoping to have them reopen, hopefully within about the next five or so minutes. So backup's not terrible. You, of course, have Riverside Drive to take as an alternate. I don't think you'll need to. Uh, the backup's not too extensive there, and it should be reopening soon. And the delays are there, but they're not too, too bad. All right, we'll have another check in just a little bit. It's John, Leslie, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thanks. Uh, today, talks will resume for SAG AFTRA members. As the, as the union gets some major support from the First Lady. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Resend is live in Culver City with those details. Hi, Eric. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's been now more than 100 days since this strike started. Talks abruptly were halted two weeks ago. Now, take a look. The Alliance of Motion Pictures and Television Producers, which represents the studios, broke off talks on October 11th. Following five negotiations of this battle includes pay for streaming content and the use of AI, artificial intelligence in the industry. sag after demands include general wage increases, protections against the use of actor images through AI, boosting compensation for successful streaming programs, and improvements in health and retirement benefits. Now, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden speaking out in support of SAG members. Joe is fighting for unions so workers can fight for what they need better pay, safer working conditions, job protection, flexibility, and health care. This is now the longest strike in the history of the Actors Union, and this is impacting uh, the production of so many movies, but also other businesses as well. We've got catering, we've got production sets, so definitely impacting many. For now, reporting live in Culver City, Eric Resendiz, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Eric, thank you very much. And as Eric mentioned, some big blockbusters are now being pushed back because of the actor's strike. The latest.